Hi, my name is Lauren Berkovich. And I'm Jay McMillan. And our story is called Senescence, which means the state of being old or the process of becoming old. And the story starts off with our main character, George, who's an old man taking a ride on a ferry to a remote island. You see him standing on the ferry with dark glasses. He gets off at the ferry and meets a boisterous woman who he's known for a long time. They head to the store and get supplies for his time at the cottage. And at the store, we see him run into a glass wall, or glass door, and a little girl laugh next to him. And basically, in this lighthearted moment, we find out that George is visually impaired. He's totally blind. So they pull up to the cabin. They walk past this big blue tarp, and none of them kind of pay any attention to it. But that's the one thing that the audience is focused in. He realizes it's getting dark and he needs some wood. So he goes out and checks in the woodshed and there's no wood. He gets a little bit of wood, brings it inside. He rummages around in the liquor cabinet and finds this old bottle, obviously homemade. And he makes some concoction and he sits down in front of the fire. And he has his favorite record playing. And for the first time we see George take off his glasses. And the shot ends just with his, this empty glass sitting on the fire sill. And we see, from his point of view, the glass come into focus. And at that moment, we realize that the combination of this moonshine and the fire have some effect on George's eyesight. So, cut to the next day. George rips open this blue tarp. What's underneath? It's this giant old moonshine equipment. This is a nostalgic moment for George. He kind of dusts it off and cleans it off and starts to feel the equipment. And then he goes and gets the supplies that him and uh, Kathy picked up. And it's all the concoctions for making homemade moonshine. So he gets straight to work. He starts running his hands down the lines and finding the right me measurements. And he pours the yeast in and he pours the water in and he gets the tanks boiling and he runs the valves and makes sure everything's working properly. It's his first day in a nine-day process of making moonshine. Now, the first day is, you know, incredibly busy. The second day is incredibly busy. And then there's a four-day lull where he has to sit and wait. And this is, in the, this is the time in the journey and in the film that we realize, you know, we realize George's true age and his true disabilities. And in his kind of denial of this kind of realization that he's old, he's alone, his body doesn't work the way it used to, his mind and his vision doesn't work the way it used to, he kind of tries to put all that aside and he picks up his trusty axe and starts chopping away at some wood. And he kind of gets addicting. This is more like an obsession now than it is a hobby. It's not a pastime. It's fully taken over his time at the cabin. So he's chopping, chopping, and he's getting more and more into it, and he's sweaty, and he's kind of filled with rage, and all these, these things that are coming back into his past are clearly going into, going into the axe, and then it slips, and it submerges right into his leg. George lets out like a violent, murderous scream as the rest of the wilderness remains still, and it's the next morning. The batch is ready. Um, it's like Christmas for George. He wakes up like with the exuberance of a young child, injury and all. He kind of limps out to this to this moonshine batch and he starts running the valves and filling up these big glass containers. And you can just tell that all his hard work, labor, patience, everything that's gone into it, his dreaming and fantasizing about this moonshine, you know, it's all coming true right now. He has something tangible in these in these glass jars. George, injured, loads up the, this giant wagon full of this moonshine and heads into the forest. And he comes into this clearing, this big meadow, and there's this giant bonfire structure built. And we realize at that moment that George hasn't been chopping this wood out of complete disregard for anything. And he hasn't been refilling the, the fire shack or, or building fires in the cabin. He's been building this massive structure and this moonshine that he's been making isn't for consumption. It's the liquid that is the gasoline that is going to stoke his fire. So in kind of a primal, primal motion, he starts spreading the gasoline all over the fire and he strikes up a match and he tosses it into the fire and takes down his, takes off his glasses, throws them into the fire and looks. And as, as George looks into the fire, we get a, pers a POV shot of everything coming into focus and then we see his eyes glimmering with the reflection of the flame and George can finally see. 
That's the story. That's the story.